Hey guys, Danny here and welcome back to another review. Today I will be doing something very classic. It is one of the most iconic rockabilly pomades of all time. It was used by Johnny Cash to Madden Black himself and yep, you guessed it, Royal Crown Pomade. Now when it comes to Royal Crown, most people actually think of hairdressing and not much of the pomade. However, the pomade and the hairdressing are two very different things and People actually confuse the hairdressing for the pomade sometimes and call Royal Crown hairdressing Royal Crown Pomade. But really, the hairdressing is a lot lighter than the pomade. I've never used the hairdressing, but I came across it in my local Afro store and it smells like roses. It kind of reminds me of the scent of Murray's Excellentum in the purple blue tin. But the um, scent of Royal Crown pomade is a lot better. I would say I don't really like the um, rose smell of the hairdressing too much. This one actually smells like lavender powder to me. Some people say it smells like cinnamon. Some people say it smells like apples or uh, Christmas cookies, but I really don't get any whiff of that at all. All I smell was just classic lavender, like lavender powder. Well, I've used Suavecito Brilliant Cream before, and it's one of the underrated products from Suavecito, and in my opinion, the only good product from Suavecito. It smells exactly like this. For those of you who tried um, Suavecito Brilliant Cream, basically um, Suavecito's version of Grill Cream, a light hole cream with some kind of shine to it, some medium healthy shine, nothing too greasy. It has a lavender scent that smells exactly like Royal Crown, and Royal Crown smells exactly like that. But its smell though, it's not overpowering, it's not overbearing at all. It's extremely light, but I do like the scent, however, it is quite manly and it smells really clean as well. And the tin inside itself is really retro, it comes in a red cardboard tin with a metal lid, which is very typical for Royal Crown products, including the hairdressing and Blue Magic and so on. I got this for about 5 euros at the Afro store, one of the Afro stores in Berlin. There are quite um, some around, but I got this from one of the best, but not the best. I discovered another really... I discovered the best Afro store actually just a couple of days ago not far from where I live. They sell the hairdressing but not the pomade, but really guys, if you do find the pomade, get it, because these things don't come around easy. You find the hairdressing almost everywhere in the United States, in drugstores, in Target, in Walmart, and so on, but you don't really find the pomade, it's a lot more difficult to find. Now without further ado, let's go do some styling, and I'll show you what the pomade is like. It is, it has a a very greasy appearance. It's non-waxy at all. It only looks very shiny and thin. And one thing I forgot to mention, how to tell the difference between Royal Crown pomade and hairdressing? Obviously, it says pomade over here. The hairdressing has um, the words hairdressing around the top and bottom, and the Royal Crown font is different as well. This one appears a little stretchier. And the Royal Crown hairdressing comes in tins of 5 ounces or 8. The pomade only comes in um, tins of um, 5 ounces. And also about the tin. A lot of the um, Royal Crown pomade tins come in um, red metallic um, lids. However, this one isn't silver. I'm not sure why. There are different versions of the um, tin. Some have red lids, some have silver lids. But the main difference about the lids from the hairdressing and the pomade is that the lids have nothing stamped onto them, but the Royal Crown hairdressing has the um, crown logo and Royal Crown stamped onto the lid. This one has nothing on it. That is the main difference between the containers for the pomade and the dressing. Okay, now let's get to the pomade itself. Now scooping it out, no hassle at all, just it has a very greasy consistency. It's so soft. I just absolutely love how soft it feels. It felt really like melting it. Melting it is just um, not sticky at all. 
no sleeve, very, very greasy, and applying it to the hair, whoa, it's just super easy. Obviously, because this is actually a light pomade. In fact, I would consider it almost a light medium, but it feels more so a light pomade. After I used this for the first time, this actually be automatically became my favorite pomade and it replaced Murray Super Light, which used to be my favorite pomade prior to using this. And now my second favorite is Murray Super Light and my third is Sweet Georgia Brown in the red tin. You're really beginning to see that handsome shine over there. It's just the shine of this stuff is just way above. You you really should get this if you like shiny pomades with a decent hole. For those of you with um, really thick wig hair, I don't really know how this will do. Um, for you guys, maybe just find your own trick to styling because if Johnny Cash could do it, maybe you can too because. I've seen pictures of his hair degreased before and wow, it's just, it's super wavy. He had a thick um, head of hair and if he could tame all of that into a beautiful pomp with just royal crown pomade and nothing else, hey, maybe you can as well. Applying a few more dabs from my back and sides. And I like how one tin is, um, five ounces because five ounces do last you a long time. Most pomades come in three ounce or 3.5 ounce tins. Well, actually, um, Dabs comes in on 3.5 ounces tins. Most Murray's products come in three ounce tins. Well, Sweet Georgia Brown is in a four ounce tin, so you kind of have um, the race between three to four on average. But five ounces, I imagine that would last you maybe over a year on average, depending on how much you use. But for, um, if you use it regularly, with maybe two or three dabs a day, I imagine it would take about at least half a year, maybe a year, more or less. Okay, so I've applied it to my hair. It's super shiny right now, and I'm just gonna slick it all back. Distribute it evenly. And now I'm going to form my part for my contour. And yes, Royal Crown is an extremely good pomade for contours. Slick this area back again to form a cleaner part. Now, I was actually really surprised at how easy it would style, how easy it is to style with this pomade because I've actually heard that it's extremely, um, of course I do know that Royal Crown is a light pomade and I've actually expected to have my sides sticking up with this one. I thought it will be pretty much almost like black and white life formula. But then it really, really could manage my short sides. Even on the first application with no prior buildup, everything just stays completely down. Just check that out, guys. My sides are wonderfully tamed with this one. And even though my sides are short, I can even slip my sides back for a more classic look. This pomade is actually um, especially wonderful for the winter time. I was, it's been cold in Germany. It's been snowing 
these past few days, but not so much, but the general weather outside is, it has a rather cold atmosphere. Cold environment, Royal Crown has been keeping my hair in an extremely wonderful shape throughout this time, even though I've been running on the streets and everything, and not a single hair has been out of place. Use this also to tame your flyaways, or you can use it as a topper for shine. You never get a single hair sticking up with Royal Crown pomade. I should just, just my sides a little more again. But the first time I used this, I um, styled my hair extremely quick. It's super easy to use. Take my melt hair brush. You're beginning to see that really classic look that is almost associated with um, the golden age Hollywood actors or even country singers from the 1950s. It makes your head look like a chrome, it's gleaming. One of the best things about this pomade is actually the shine, that's the reason why I got it other than the fact Johnny Cash used it. Well, some people say that Elvis Presley used Royal Crown pomade, but I don't think he used the pomade. I think he used the hairdressing. And also, like, I forgot to mention that the buildup on this product is actually really nice. On the first day of using it, I just feel like my hair is conditioned. It just moisturizes it. I mean, Throughout the day, my hair begins to feel super soft. And ironically, it doesn't even feel much so greasy. But after a few days of um, buildup, the buildup isn't so heavy, but it just feels absolutely wonderful. It, however, the buildup is a lot more powerful than it feels. I could even form a pompadour with my very um, short hair. My, right now, my hair just reaches half my forehead. And I was able to do it actually a short and forward pomp that's right around it. So, my favorite things about this pomade are mainly the shine and build-up. Styling is also no hassle, but sometimes it really depends on how your hair is behaving that morning, which this morning my hair isn't really doing so much of a good job, to be honest. But I should just call it done right over there. And wow, you can see that my head is literally Reflecting so much light, it's just blinding, guys. You really should check it out. Just my contour. Just notice how shiny it is. And about its washability, honestly, for a light pomade, it's not too easy. It's rather difficult to wash off for a light pomade, but on a general pomade standard, it's not too easy, but it's not too difficult as well. It took me about three rounds of shampoo with um, five days worth of buildup. And so my final verdict on this, if you see this, get it. These things don't come around every once in a while. Um, they're just pretty much difficult to find. Really good performance and styling, awesome shine, amazing buildup. And also it looks very um, awesome in your collection. It's very retro looking and it's very nice to own a pomade that was in fact used by Johnny Cash and maybe a couple of other legends in the rock and roll world. So, till next time.